lesson, we are going to talk about issue and sub-issue types for tickets. So issue and sub-issue types for tickets are ways to categorize your tickets and just use them, for example, for reporting, live reports, widgets, easier searching within Autotask, but also they're really handy for workflow rules. So let's take a look. Let me first show you how the issue and sub-issue types are displayed within the ticket. So let's go to this new ticket I have right here. And as you can see on the left-hand side, we have issue type and sub-issue type right here. And as you can see, issue type and sub-issue type are a way to classify tickets, um, like I explained before. So as you can see, we have different kind of issue types and um, different kind of sub-issue types. And it's a really easy way to just um, classify tickets. So for example, I have a ticket which is about scripting. Then I want to classify it as scripting. So when I want to search for it or I want to make a workflow rule for it, I can just very easily filter on this issue and this sub-issue type. Let's show you how to do that. So let's go back to the Autotask dashboard I have right here. And let's say, for example, you want to search on a ticket for issue and sub-issue type. What you can do is you can go to the menu in the top left corner right here and click on service desk right here. And you will go to the ticket search screen. And as you can see in this ticket search screen, I have a lot of different filters I can choose. And when I scroll down a little bit, as you can see, I have issue type and sub-issue type right here. And I can just filter on them um, for finding similar tickets or related tickets or stuff like that. And yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of different uh, issue types right here. And that's because we have um, two different ways of looking at issue types. The first one is to, to um, take a look at the types of activities right here. So you have stuff like a complex change or a standard change or compliancy, stuff like that, which are really types of activities. And at the bottom here, we have different kind of service categories. So they, those are two different kind of ways of looking at issue types. And um, well, maybe you should just take a moment and think about what those two types might mean for you and which one is best for your company, which is really company specific because the, for example, the first company might like to just classify their tickets through uh, which type of activities. And another company is just finds it really easier to work with for their text to just first select which kind of which kind of category um, uh, a ticket is uh, is classified as. So, for example, Office three sixty five or infrastructure or stuff like that. So yeah, that's uh, that's the basics of searching for tickets with issue sub issue type. Now let's take a look at the admin center and where you can just select all different kinds of issue types and where you can put them in. So what you can do is you can go to the menu in the top left corner and click on admin right here. And after you've done that, you, you want to expand service test tickets right here by clicking on the plus sign. And um, as you can see here in the middle of the screen, we have issue and sub issue types. So we will click on this. And as you can see, I have, I have both sets here in Autotask. The first one, which might be new to you, is the choose issue type right, we have right here. So as you can see, when I open it by going to the menu and clicking on edit, this, the, the issue type is choose issue and the sub issue type is choose sub issue, which you might want to use for the incoming email processor. And this signifies to your text that after a ticket is created, that they have to manually choose their issue and sub-issue type. So they won't forget it. And they know they have to change it when all the information of the ticket is complete. So that might be one way for you to use this issue and sub-issue type. And as you can see here below, here are all the different issue types, which you also saw in the previous screen of the ticket search. We will not go through them all right now, but what we will do is we will upload all of these with the um, sub issues underneath in this lesson. So you can just download them for yourself and take a look at them and just see which view is best suited to your company.